Lunch money. Kapow! Blam! Biff! Um, this is a card game for two to four players, and it's essentially a merciless street fight. This game was released in the late 90s, and I've been playing it for a very long time, and it's a lot of fun. It's a hoot. It's a hoot. But basically, it's a fight, right? So, gee, Alex, how do you play Lunch Money? Well, each player gets 15 tokens, okay? Now, the tokens can be anything. It could be pennies, quarters, could be dollar bills, $10 bills, whatever you want, okay? Uh, but each player gets 15 uh, tokens. And each player will get five cards, okay? And you'll begin the game, okay? So let's say we're playing a two-player game. Well, it's my turn. I decide to, bam, kick my opponent. Now, this is why the banter, the colorful banter, is uh, fun with this game. Uh, I'd say it's almost essential. Because how are you going to kick them? Where are you going to kick them, right? So this is part of the fun with this game with this card game. So I kick my opponent, uh, that's two points. Uh, if they can't uh, block it or if they decide they don't want to block it, every time you play a card, you're gonna draw a card back up and you play your cards into your own discard pile. So um, what happens is after uh, you run out of cards, you just shuffle those and you start drawing cards back up if you're still conscious, if you're still alive. Okay, with your 15 tokens. So I decide to kick my opponent. Uh, I describe how I'm kicking them, colorful banter, you know, and that's part of the fun here. And if they can't defend this kick, then they get, uh, they lose two, two points, two tokens, okay? But they may be able to block that kick, right? So I kick them and they're able to block it. That's it. That's the end of my turn, and it's my opponent's turn. They can also uh, dodge the kick. Uh, they can also use humiliation. That stops the opponent uh, in his tracks. You say something so humiliating to them that it just it stops the attack. So humiliation uh, and disarm. Disarm is if I decide, for instance, to attack you with a hammer, and I describe it colorfully. Uh, you can disarm me, and um, then I can't play uh, the hammer anymore. I, I, I lose the card. Uh, the weapons here, I got pipe, I got a knife, chain, and some of the attacks, you know, I got spinning back fist, uh, I got an uppercut, bow, right there, that's three points. Uh, a pimp slap, whoosh, and uh, a roundhouse, there's a couple of other ones. Uh, there's a power play card where you can do multiple uh, attacks. Anyway, if my opponent can block or defend somehow, then it's their turn. If not, then they lose the points. Um, as you lose points, you'll have cards like uh, first aid, and you can play as many first aid cards uh, that you have uh, happen to have in your hand. For each one you play, uh, you gain back two tokens, okay? So this is gonna help you, uh, this first aid card helps you uh, stay alive. Uh, but something else you can do is, for instance, use a grab. If I successfully grab my opponent, so if I play this card on my opponent, I wanna grab them. Um, they can uh, uh, dodge the grab or something, but it, let's say they can't. If I successfully grab them, well, I get a free basic attack because there's a couple of different attacks here. Uh, so I get to, you know, without them being able to block or anything. So if I grab them, I can then uh, kick them. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, they can defend against the grab. And what's interesting with this grab card as well is uh, the defender can use it. So if I kick my opponent, my opponent could try to grab me, right? Grab my leg as I'm kicking them. And of course you describe all of this colorfully because that's part of the fun of the game. And uh, if, if, if I can't block or dodge that grab, then um, they get, as, as the defender, they get a free basic attack uh, on me, right? I hope that's not confusing. 
Anyway, so that would be the end of my turn, and then uh, my uh, opponent would play, and they can choose to use a hammer on me, but if I happen to have the disarm, then that blocks it, or use the humiliation card. Uh, if you're grabbed as well, if you're grabbed, uh, there's a bunch of different cards here. So if this kind of stuff blows your hair back, you know, you need to look into this game because it's fun. But again, and I'll say this again because I think this is important, it's fun to have the banter. If you're just going to sit there quietly and play these cards back and forth, it's fun to, you know, be using colorful language and stuff. Um, if I successfully uh, grab my opponent, I can then choke them. I can then choke them. And if they're being choked, okay, and there's another one that's like a, a headlock as well. There's another card here as a headlock. So if I su successfully grab them and then choke them, they can get away from that with this uh, freedom card here. And there's a couple of different ways you can get away from that. But essentially, uh, that's uh, lunch money. It comes with, uh, you know, one sheet. It's not that hard to play. As you play, though, if you're not familiar with the game, you are going to have to reference some of this. But this will stay on the table. And, uh, you know, a player may want to look at this. Uh, there's some specialty cards like Big Combo. The Big Combo card entitles the player with... Uh, to dream up any two fancy moves, such, such as a front kick followed by a spinning elbow strike, and announce them as the card is played. Okay? And it says that defending against the attack requires two defense cards. So anyway, uh, there's some specialty cards. So, you know, with the grab or the headlock, the uh, if you're not too familiar with the game, you might uh, want to reference this. And then this graph here kind of, kind of shows you all the different attacks and how you can defend them and and uh, you know it's basically an example of play there so once you go through this you can teach the game uh, it won't, won't be too difficult but if you're not familiar again you will be referencing the sheet to make sure um, you know as you play the cards and again you play a card you draw back up you're always gonna have five cards in your hand uh, and you and you and you draw back from uh, and you um, you discard them to your own discard pile, right? So uh, if you run out of cards uh, from your from the draw pile, then you can just uh, shuffle those. I I've already mentioned that before. So it's fun. And then uh, you have beer money here, which is a different version. Uh, it's got some different cards in here. And uh, yeah, you know, a merciless street fight with uh, colorful descriptions, uh, some colorful language maybe. It's a fun card game. There's not a, uh, you know, a lot of thinking here. You, depending on what cards you have in your hand, you might decide to not defend. Like there's a, a card here, there's a jab. You know, you're gonna lose a point or two, big deal, right? You might wanna take that so you can use the cards you have in your hand on your opponent or if you have a combination of cards. You know, and, and you might want to save a block or a dodge card. You'll have to think a little bit, but uh, basically it's a fast-paced card with a lot of uh, fun interaction. So yeah, if this kind of stuff blows your hair back, uh, you know, street fights, you know, bam, kapow, biff, blam. Uh, go check this out. It's lunch money. <laughs>